What's up, everybody? It's Joe here, and welcome back to some more uh, Horizon Zero Dawn. Oh, that's weird. Okay. Um, we're gonna be fighting Durval, I think. This is the place. You home, Durval? I got a surprise for you. Or he has a surprise for us. Is it a bomb? Fine. Doesn't look too big. Big enough to kill us. All right. I'll shut up. If I try to take it apart, a booby trap will set it off. Blaze. It must be leaking from something upstairs. Where are the stairs? They are over here. Uh huh. No. Not right now. What are you talking about? That's a lot of blaze. Right, if that bomb downstairs goes off, it'll be just what Durval promised. Smoke will darken the sun as the city goes up in flames. There's, there's got to be a way to stop it. It looks like a wooden bracket. Not very strong. Help me push this out. Okay. Brute force. I'm good at that. What'll it do? Save the city, I hope. But when the blaze falls, run for it. Because the booby trap on the bomb downstairs is gonna get set off. Uh, will we survive? Probably not. Now push. We did it! Durval's best shot, and Meridian's still standing. This isn't over. Durval said he'd make a VOD watch. No way. To do that, he'd have to get into the palace. And that's too heavily guarded. Get back there, just to be sure. I'm gonna look around. Maybe Durval's men left something behind when they planted that bomb. I got it. Don't worry. He tries for the palace. He's finished. I should have that better on it. Yeah, right. Okay. I can still do it. Yeah. Boot tracks with just a bit of blaze in them. Yeah, I'm going to the motel. Get to the fire and shut up a bucket line. Uh, if I find one, I know. You'll regret not stopping when you're in the thick of it. The end of us. The whole town. I haven't heard a blast like that since the liberation. If I pass him, oh, yeah. There's smoke rising from the edge of the mesa. Are we under attack? The tracks lead inside. Another one of Durval's hideouts. This must be where Durval assembled the detonator. He tunneled through the wall. Durval did find a way into the palace. Here we go. No, I like you, this dumb old guy. Oh, damn. Oh, yeah, I see. No. Oh. Even hey, Oh. 
Okay. Oh, yeah, I am down. Okay. Follow one. Mm -hmm. Wish I could be there to see the sun god on his knees. And Quick, Carpen. You does what? Someone's got to guard the rear. Ready or not. Hold on one. I mean, no, I have. Alright. Hold on. Inventory. Which one is it? You guys are sharpshooter. Oh, but. Hello? You just didn't use the right arrows. I didn't? No. This is your sharpshooter. Oh, that one. My bad. I'm gonna fill up on health. Keep that for later. Left the time. I hear the thing. Look at you, Avad. The wriggling runt of a maniac right, so king. Right, right, right. You robbed me of my right to kill your father. Right, right. So I'll have to settle for you. Mm. I'm going to enjoy watching the Karja burn. Even more because you'll be watching with me. Say goodbye to Meridian, Avad. Breathe in the stench. And choke on the ashes. Something's wrong. It, it didn't. I, I didn't hear anything. There's a bit of smoke rising from the mesa's edge. No! It should be a firestorm, not some belch from a charcoal burner. You must be the Nora who bushwhacked my camp. And disabled your bomb. Did you now? Well, bomb or no bomb, I'm gonna splatter that throne with blood. Just, First yeah. yours, then Avad's. I am. I, I just melee him. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then his other two friends come and I shot them both in the face. Help me, brother! We're under attack! I'm looking right no. at her! This isn't over yet, wench. I've led an army. Kestrels and ravagers. A savage is nothing. You're not gonna see it. The bard always have his ladies fighting. Can we finish this? I've got a sun god to kill. Damn. It's not over yet, Nora. Any good Osaram Tinker will tell you. Always have a third plan. Mm -hmm. Wait. Is it? Wait for, for now. There's more after that. That's a pain. I tell it. Hold on one.
Alright, sorry guys. Uh, the hearts are not my strong suit. They're just not. So, that's what just happened there. But, we did it. Uh, I'm sure you guys can do it a lot easier and faster than me. Can't carry more. Alright, well, Gerbo, his, fa his, his fans are toiled. Did you hear what I said? His fans? His fans oh. are toiled. His fans are toiled. No, oh, his fans. His fans are like better. <laughs> you just liked it better. As much as I wish Ursa was here to kill you, I don't mind doing it for her. Go ahead. I'm not afraid. Except that knowing you, Eren, you'll screw it up! I know what you are afraid of. Going back to Mainspring in chains. Every clan in the claim wants you dead. And they know how to make it hurt. They'll even bid for the privilege. It's just like you to get someone else to do your killing. Shut up. You're at the Sun King's mercy now. Gloat, Nora. Well, as you can see, good talk. I'm busy. Aloy, to say you have my gratitude feels woefully insufficient. You saved my life. You saved Meridian. And because of you, there will be justice for Ursa's murder. We can mourn her knowing the truth, without painful uncertainty. It's hard to imagine where we'd be without you. And I don't want to try. I hope you will consider staying in Meridian. It's time for me to go. Uh, w wait a moment. As I said, I'd hoped you'd consider staying in Meridian. And... Why is that? Well, I would think that would be obvious. Not to me. Huh. Well, to start with, you kept the city from going up in flames. You're strong, shrewd, and, and capable. I, I could use someone like you at my side. Thank you for the offer, but I don't think either you or I are ready for that. At least, not yet. I've got a long way to go before I find what I'm looking for, and it's going to take me far from Meridian. Uh, of course. I, I didn't mean to presume. You are your own woman, just as Ursa was. But please, remember that you're always welcome here. I hope that today is just a sunrise for us, not a goodbye. It's time for me to go. Of course. I hope you find what you're after, Aloy. And if need be, I will come to your aid. As sure as the sun's rising. Aloy, I was just thinking about Ursa. She would have killed Durval on the spot. I know it. 
That's why she went out to meet him in the first place, to put him down. But she also told me to grow up. I gotta admit it burned a little when she said that, but I'm trying to take it to heart. And I guess growing up means putting what you should do in front of what you want to do, right? <laughs> you're asking me? I'm pretty sure you're older. <laughs> yeah, but I don't act like it, do I? You did with Draval. Now, don't give me too much credit. Part of me still wants to wait for a quiet moment and wring his neck. Yeah, but you won't. Because you're a good captain. Come on, stop. You're gonna make me tear up. So, after all this, what's next for errand vanguardsmen? Uh, heading back to the claim for a while. I'll get in touch with my clan and... we'll lay Ursa to rest properly. Like how she would have wanted. And by that I mean... Less chit-chat, more drinking. What do you think the Osirim will do to Derval? First off, they'll argue about it for a long time. But whatever they come up with, it won't be quick. I can live with that. In fact, I might just drop by his cell under the sun ring to remind him what's coming. Well... I know, you gotta go. Killers to track, machines to master, all before breakfast. You know what? When we met, I thought I was a big shot talking to a pretty girl hidden away in the middle of nowhere. And now I see that I was just lucky to get a minute of your time. Try not to forget about me while you're out there changing. Bada bing, bada